Posey, and I would like to welcome you to Reading is Instrumental, a partnership between the Berkeley Symphony and the Berkeley Public Library. Now, I'm a musician. I spend my time writing music, teaching music, and performing concerts. I've played concerts all around the world, and you may have even heard me play with the Berkeley Symphony uh, here in town. We're excited to be sharing this program, and today we've got a special story by Berkeley's own Thatcher Hurd called Mama Don't Allow. This story features Miles, a young boy who learns how to play the saxophone. Now, since I'm a saxophonist, I'll play his part on the tenor saxophone. <laughs> There are other instruments as well, and since I'm home and don't have them here, I'll play all their other parts on different kinds of saxophones. Bert is a guitar player. I'll play his bass guitar parts on the big bass saxophone. Now we've also got Doc, a trumpet player. I'll play his parts on the little soprano saxophone, sometimes one, sometimes two, and sometimes three. For Al, the drummer, I'll use my voice to make the sound of a ride cymbal and snap my fingers like a cool cat. Now that you've met the band, it's time for our story. Over to you, Thatcher. Hi, my name is Thatcher Hurd, and I'm going to read you a book I wrote and illustrated called Mama Don't Allow. Mama Don't Allow, starring Miles and the Swamp Band. Miles got a saxophone for his birthday, and his mother said, oh, how nice. But then Miles started to play. And his mother said, oh, how awful. And his father said, keep it down, son. But Miles practiced. He practiced in the bathtub. Blah, 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 blah. And he practiced and practiced until his mama and papa couldn't stand it anymore. And his mama said, why don't you practice outside, dear? And so he did, as loud as could be. And everybody in town said, what a racket, unbearable, terrible, yuck. Even the little bird up in the tree said, ugh, man, ugh. But Miles strolled down Main Street, where he met a drummer named Al, and up Swamp Lane, where he met a guitarist named Bert, and over Bayou Bridge, where he met a trumpet player named Doc. Hey, let's play some music, said Miles. Yeah, loud music, said Al. Let's be a band, said Bert. The Swamp Band, cried Doc. And they played as loud as they could. And soon the whole town cried out, Swamp Bands play in the swamp. But down in the swamp at the edge of town, the sharp-toothed, Long-tailed, yellow-eyed alligators said, what do you think they said? They said, we love that swamp band music. You do? Yeah, we like it loud. Really? Come and play for the alligator ball. When? 
Saturday night after the sun goes down, we'll meet you at the riverboat. And Miles says, we'll be there. So Saturday night when the sun went down, the alligators came from miles around. They were dressed in their finest clothes. And the swamp band played their favorite song, which was, Mama don't allow no music playing round here. Mama don't allow no music playing round here. And all the alligators danced. And they danced some more. Now we don't care what Mama don't allow, gonna play that music anyhow. And the swamp band played far into the night. When the music was over, the band was hungry. So were the alligators. Miles looks up at the alligators and he says, well, what, 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 what's for dinner? And the alligators say, something tender, something juicy. And what's on the menu? Swamp and soup. The alligators snapped their jaws and smacked their lips and stirred their soup. And Miles was first in line to be made into soup. And he was about to go into the soup. And he says, wait, 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 wait. How about one more song before dinner? The alligators, the alligators say, okay, but make it short, make it sweet. So the band sang a lullaby of swampland. When the moon is rising and the moss hangs low, when the swamp is quiet and the waters move slow, that's the time to sing softly and lay your head awfully far down in the gooey damp mud. And all the alligators fell fast asleep. And Miles piloted the riverboat back to Swampville and the swamp band tiptoed home, playing that lullaby as quiet as could be. And when Miles got home, his mama said, Oh, how nice. So that's Mama Don't Allow. Thank you for listening. Thank you for tuning in today to Reading is Instrumental. On behalf of the Berkeley Symphony and the Berkeley Public Library, we hope you enjoyed hearing Thatcher Hurd's wonderful story, Mama Don't Allow. And I hope that you enjoyed hearing music played on the soprano saxophone and on the tenor saxophone and on the big bass saxophone. My name is Pat Posey. It's been a pleasure to perform for you today and I look forward to playing for you again soon.